Start, start your trial here. 30 days free, unlimited clients, no credit card. This is the part that I liked for all of you. So it looks like you need to uh, enter your email to make your email account. They'll probably send you a link and then you can um, get your app set up that way. I'm just gonna leave this here. Um, but we can probably all navigate here and that'll be a good place to start. I don't know. Do you do you have their client profile up right now on TrainerOS? Um, like kind of like this here. Yeah, I think I think at some point in time, like within the next two days or something, in order to actually, you know what? No, this has happened to me before. So I've signed up clients. I've done all their programming and stuff like that, and they didn't go to their email within like the first two days or whatever. So what happens is they get a, like, a live link to be able to log in and stuff. Um, essentially, that expires, but you can still use like the back end as much as you want. So you should be able to do all your programming and stuff like that. Um, the only thing that wouldn't happen is if you were um, able to, like if you were actually programming this for a friend and you emailed them, they wouldn't be able to log on and if they didn't use the link within the first like two days or whatever. So I think that's all that happens. So should be good to go. That was a good question. Yeah, for sure. What's the answer? Okay, can, can we have just a little show of hands? Who's navigated to this uh, page with um, a client? Excellent. Okay, now we get to have some fun. That was the that was the troubleshooting logistics I was worried about leaving uh, leaving you all on your own to do. But here we are. Okay. So first thing that we're gonna do is set up their profile, right? That's kind of step one of this assignment is setting goals, de uh, developing this uh, program. So we can go back to view profile. I know if you're just here and navigated away, you can come back to here. And the most ideal spot, there's a few different ways we can do this, but I think the most ide ideal spot for this is essentially just coming over here and you're gonna edit your trainer notes, okay? So for now, you can just say, put smart goal here, put client history here. Obviously, you can put whatever information you want down in this side as well, okay? So this is where it's going. As a side note, for all your client profile information here, um, when you go to take your screenshot, if you notice when you save it, it shortens it to like just the first little bit. So when you go to take your screenshot, Leave it on edit, okay? Okay. Great. So that's the first part, okay? Second part, we're gonna get into programming and scheduling, okay? So we're gonna pop on down here to training program. You'll have this sort of a window. Well, I already have stuff in here, so you're gonna need to go to add and um, or add next and make up the name of a training block, okay? So whatever your goal is for the next month for this individual, whether it's yourself or whomever, uh, you get to put something in there. Uh, training block one. You guys got a question there? Okay. Okay, and you'll pick a date, you can pick this month, and then go to save, okay? You want it to be four weeks long. That's all we're doing, okay? Are we good there so far? Some hands, okay. Once you're on... When you're on this page, where do you go after that? You close it, yeah. yeah. And it should bring you back to something with this menu on the left. And then you go to training programs.
Okay, are we good on training programs so far? Have something blocked out there? Okay, great. So now you click on the dates, the, the four weeks that you have there. And you're going to go over here and click new. So we're going to make a new workout. Okay. So workout can entail anything. It can be a strength. It can be stretching. Okay. Um, if you can keep the chatter down. Uh, if you have a question, like by all means, feel free to ask or whisper about some logistics. But um, Okay, let's go. I don't think I have a stretching. Stretching. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, and then you're going to have three options to pick from on this, okay? So this is going to have some consequences for what type of workout you want to build. You have regular, which is your classic kind of straight uh, training, which is going to be set up as individual exercises that are typically separate. Um, and you can add in little breaks and stuff, but, but it's typically for strength. We have circuit-based, so it's going to have every, all your exercises tied together. There's going to be a little timer. Um, and then uh, intervals are definitely each exercise or group of exercises you have are going to have its own timer, okay? Um, so most of you, uh, actually let's do, let's all do kind of a starting stretch program together. Um, and then we'll maybe do like a, a strength one after. I'll show you what that looks like. So go to your interval uh, component, click that, and then go start building. Okay, and you should see a window like this pop up. Uh, your videos on the right might be a little different. So some of these I've... Up, um, found off YouTube and uploaded, or they're just commonly searched, okay? Um, yeah, good. So you should have something up here like this. And uh, if you have any specific instructions, uh, like take it easy, I don't know, whatever you want to put in there, you can do that. Um, maybe frame the workout or the session. And then you're essentially going to drag and drop, okay? So if this is a stretch, um, exercise, you can um, look for specific exercises. Uh, oh. uh, but I'm just generally putting in stretch, so I have a bunch come up. And from here, we're just going to pull over and drop in. Okay, So I want to make sure I do my left and right side for that exercise. Um, so frog stretch for uh, our leap year that we just had. And... Uh, you know, a little bit of a um, runner stretch, okay? So now that you've loaded up these stretches over into the um, exercise area, we can add in our details. And again, a lot of the programming nuances for each of these you're going to see uh, on our in a couple of lectures. But the first and most kind of important one when we're talking about stretching is making sure we set the right amount of time. As we'll come to see, 20 seconds is a pretty good amount of time for most stretches. Um, and then we can also put in details here, target, as far as our reps, weight, weight target, or um, other notes that you want people to make. In a stretching program here with these videos, it's important to say like left side and then right side. Again, you want um, someone you've never met before or knows nothing that you know to be able to look at this program and just follow it along, right? That's, that's the idea. Yeah. That was sort of under the impression that we were doing this program Sure, it is, but uh, but the goal, the ultimate goal, is to be able to design something that, you know, you could give to to a client. You can use yourself as a goal. I just want it to make I want to make it feel uh, relevant and really important. So, you know, you can design it for yourself. But also, it's good to have a note for yourself. You know, I think one thing that I hear from many people is, um, you know, when you go to the gym or you go to do your sessions and stuff, I don't want to think about what I have to do. Like that's a barrier. If you're tired and then you have to think about what you're going to do that day, that's just a whole cognitive load that uh, becomes a barrier to actually getting your, your workout or your stretch session done, right? So the more detail and direction you can even give yourself, I like, so it's a really valid question, uh, the better for sure, okay? Okay, so we have our left and right side here. Um, and a couple other stretches. Ah, uh, that one should have a left and right too, but that's okay. All right, so once we have this... Uh, in another feature that we can do is we can actually link them together okay so we can check the check boxes and we go to circuit and we essentially group those exercises together okay so we have a little circuit or um, superset this in this one it's just the two exercises or two stretches together let's say I want to do all of them so I can hit that circuit again all of them come together if I didn't like that I can just hit ungroup there's that little blue button right here but I think 
for this, I want to keep everything together, and I want them, whoever it is, uh, to do two rounds through. Okay, so two rounds of 20 second stretches all the way around. Okay, cool. Okay, so awesome. That is our stretching day. So I can save that. I'm happy with it. Um, and here it shows up, uh, populates this, this field here. All right, so from here, now we need to put it in our calendar, okay? We need to know what days we're actually doing these stretches. So now that I've built the workout, I can go over to my calendar. I highlight that. Do, do, do. And again, there's already stuff populated here, but um, what I can do is essentially pick a day and make a repeated occurring event, okay? So say I pick the fifth. Um, my previously planned workouts are going to show up here under this workout uh, kettlebell icon and select from current training plan, okay? We'll see all of our workouts populate here. If I click on that little uh, feature there, I select my stretching. I want it to repeat. So before I hit add, I can always go back and add it individually, but this is just gonna save time for everyone. Uh, I'm gonna click you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays and I want that to repeat for four weeks. Simon is asking for a four-week program, and I go apply, okay? And now I add it, and I can see all my stretching workouts added in here. Yeah. Cool. Great. Good. Yeah, question. Uh, I just have a question. If mm -hmm. you're doing this with someone else, uh, mm -hmm. do they need to sign up and get their own account made? Uh, no, you can just create a client for them. And then I was mentioning to some people earlier, they're going to get sent a link. And then they essentially download the app for free. And then they can log in through their end. And they'll actually be able to go through the workout. So they can be like completed. And what ends up showing up here, what day is it? I'll just complete this. Is, um, oh, that maybe wasn't a good one. Let's do this. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so they'll save, they'll go through the workout, they say it's done, they can add comments, you can add a comment, and then you'll notice it shows up as a filled bubble here. So, yeah, it's kind of cool uh, on that end. Good. So, hopefully we're all at our stretching, logged in on multiple days, it's there. Um, good. Let's take a look at a strength day and see how that looks and what we can do with that. Uh, I'll make a new one. So, i got to go back to my uh, training program to make a new workout. And there's another workaround, but we can go here. We'll go new. Uh, I'm just gonna say strong, sure. We're gonna click, uh, click a regular workout, and we'll start building that. Again, we're just gonna do three exercises here. I just wanna show you how to kind of build that out a bit. Um, let's go squats. Every day is leg day. That's a good workout plan, in my opinion. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Body weight split squat. Uh, oh yeah, let's do pistol squat. Okay, so we're gonna drag that over and let's do something like um, bench. Why not bench press? Good. And then last but not least, let's go a row. Oh yeah, I like that one. Okay, so we have our three exercises in here now. They're all strength based. Um, and we can notice that we can change the number of sets we wanna do for each. So you can kind of click that toggle. So I want to do four. We can also have whether we want um, a duration of time for a certain exercise. So uh, say you're doing uh, body weight squats and you want someone to do that for a minute. You can put that in here just by switching that feature. But again, for a strength base, we're going to leave it as text. Okay. And this is where you're going to put your rep targets. Okay. So for now, let's say 10 to 12 reps. I have my sets here. Again, we'll talk more about how and why we choose those different things. And then we can ask, also pick a rest period for that specific exercise. Okay, so in between every single set, how long do you want the person to wait? There's actually gonna be a timer that comes up for them, and you just physically wait there until the next exercise or set comes up, okay? Good. But let's say we wanna superset those two and put them together. And we got our rest period here at the end. Again, let's say we want 12 to 10 reps. And there we go. Okay. Feeling good here? Okay. 
Any questions about that strength component so far? No, feeling good there. OK, great. And uh, so again, one of your screenshots that you'll do, uh, you can do is simply by after building the workout, you get to the screen, you know, you take your screenshot of all the exercises, their sets. You know, if there's rest, that will show here as well. A secondary place that you can do this is if you hit the print button. Sorry if you missed that, but I can go back. Gives um, a little bit of a set sheet here with reps um, uh, that people can fill out. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is what I was looking for. Something here. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, we are going to look at how we are going to add a little bit of uh, volume difference or different variability between these workouts, how we're going to progress them over a training block. And really what we do is we come back here to our training program. We go to edit and we find this uh, drop box right here. That's a progression spread spreadsheet. Okay. So we're going to click that. We're going to see something like this come up. Sorry, is that pretty small? I'll try to make that a bit bigger for everyone. Okay. And then you're going to go through and you can hit customize and you can change uh, you know, number of sets reps uh, for each particular week, depending on how you want to progress it, okay? Maybe I don't want to do any on that last week. Okay, and again, we'll talk about why you might want to choose to do that. So this is your last screenshot right here to show for that particular workout how you're adding variability over the span of the month. Yeah. Can you show how to get there? Yeah, I'll show you one more time for sure. Um, so again, we're at our workout sheet here. So let me go back. And it's this edit drop box right there. You click that and it's called the progression worksheet. Yeah. And again, everyone's program is going to be a little bit different. So for example, if you're just doing stretches, um, you may have a progression as far as time for stretches. So that's something you could do in this progression worksheet. Uh, as well as what types of stretches you do each week, you could vary it that way. Yeah? Uh, for the progression mm -hmm. stretch, um, if we teach the reps to sit, do we adjust the weight? Would you slowly the yeah, so that'll happen right here in this note section. So for example, if you're here, you could say at 65% uh, of your rep max or whatever target you happen to be using. Um, we Trying to think how detailed we get on that front. Um, yes, we'll on uh, not today uh, when we're talking about strength and stuff like that, but we'll we'll dive into that a bit in in two lectures. So, okay, cool, good, yes, great. And so we have our profile and our goal setting. We have our calendar. We have how to program a bunch of different types of workouts, and how to vary that across our training block. Okay, those are the three points. I think maybe the last one I'll just show you. It's a little bit more straightforward. Um, or maybe I'll show you two things. So here's our cardio that you can do. Sorry, if you just add in cardio, here's the function you'll get. It'll look something like this. Um, you can go by distance or time, however you want to set that up, depending on what your goals are. And then, for example, you can pick any number of different activities you can do. Let's say, oh, yeah, new snow, skiing, perfect. Okay, so we just have skiing day that can go in there sort of thing. But the issue you might run into with that, depending on what sort of programming you're doing, is it's very hard to make an interval day in this format. So when you go to make intervals for your uh, cardiovascular activity, you're actually going to need to come to the workouts, go new, uh, let's say interval, interval day, and um, you can use this here. Okay. So what you end up doing is you can set targets as far as weight. I think you just say running. Uh, yeah, so you can create a, a workout, put in running. You say for how long, say 30 minutes. That's a very long interval. You probably would never program that. And then you say zone, and we'll talk about zones. Uh, zone two for your heart rate. And then you just kind of go here, so you have a bit of timer, and then for 30 seconds, a very short break, you're in zone five, et cetera, and kind of build it out that way. So there will be a timer going for each interval for them, okay? 
Uh, but again, we can, we'll talk about that a bit more next day. Let's just tell you would set that up. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, good. And that is it for the app fundamentals. Yeah, question. Um, once something's on the calendar, can you like edit it? Yeah, so this is the one, in my opinion, a bit cumbersome part about this is when you go to, oh, sorry, edit or delete? Edit. Um, edit. I, like, on the first one, I accidentally didn't like, repeat it. Yeah, right. So let's say, um, so I put skiing here on the 9th, but I, I really wanted it every week. What I will do is I'll go back now to the 19th. I'll go cardio, um, uh, so skiing or whatever it was. And then I go back. And so instead of saying four weeks, I'll say three weeks on whatever Saturday, apply, add, and then it'll fill out the rest. Yeah. Yeah, and deleting them. Um, if you've repeated a bunch, this is why I suggested making a rough draft of your plan before you end up putting it in the app. Hey, guys. Thanks. Um, is uh, if you go in and populate multiple days on the calendar, in order to de delete it, you have to go back to every single one and go delete, confirm, delete, confirm, right? So it's a bit cumbersome that way. Okay? So um, yeah, but that being said, let's say you wanna change something in this particular day, you just go back to your training program and uh, go to that particular workout and just add in exercises there. Okay, any questions at this point in time? No, not until you start diving into it and playing around with it. Yep. Okay, great. So let's go. So.